Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Baltasera Nation. Today, I'm going to provide a tutorial how you can install Windows games onto Baltasera. And so, the very first thing you're going to need, you're going to need the actual installation file, the setup file of the actual game in question. Uh, some of these games I've acquired at GOG, Great Old Games, and others at different other websites. So that's that's what you do. So that's the very first thing you need to do. Also, need to bear in mind that not all games you try to install is going to work. Uh, some of them just simply will not work no matter what you do. Uh, these are some of the games I've got working. Uh, I'm about to set up. Some of these are old classic games uh, that I, I just really enjoy. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's go ahead and go to F1. And I'm going to go into my portable drive. And I'm going to go over here. This is where I got my installation files. All right. So I got this game called Galactic. This is, my, in fact, my first shareware game I ever purchased back in the early 1990s. I love this game. It's one of the classic space shooters, which originally was written in DOS and then later on it got converted to Windows. So, um, I can go ahead and copy this into the folder I need to copy it, but I think the first thing to do is actually to rename the file. And the reason why we want to rename the file is that if you don't rename the file, and it's got some strange set of file name, when Batuseta creates the game folder, it's going to have the same exact name as the set of file. And then you have to go have to go back in there and change it. It's a hassle. So it's better to go ahead and change it right off the bat. If that's the name of the game, that's the way it should be. All right, so let's go ahead and copy that to the ROMs folder. And don't put it in Windows. You got to put it in Windows installers. This is where you put all the games that you need to uh, install. Okay, and then go ahead and exit that. Press uh, start. Go to game settings. Update game list. Otherwise, it won't see the game. All right. I'll go ahead and press Windows, and then you'll see that folder. Install a new Windows game. Uh, every time you have a file in that folder, it's going to show. It's going to show you that. Once the game has installed, then you can go ahead and delete it, and then you won't see that new Windows game folder. Okay. So go ahead and click on that. And there's the game, Galactic. Press A, and then next thing you're going to see is this screen. Again, this is not an error. It looks like the old blue screen from the old Windows and DOS days, and it's not. It's just the way it is. Let it do its thing. Some of them take longer than others. So there's the actual installation file. Go ahead and proceed with next. Leave it on, uh, you can put it, I guess you can change if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on the actual default location, all right? Go to next. Says here, does not exist, yes, so I'm gonna go ahead. Then it tells me there's not enough disk space in the target directory. That's not true. There is. There's plenty of room there. So go ahead and say yes. Start. It's done. Exit. Wait a little while. And then it brings you back to the main windows. However, sometimes uh, the game freezes up. After you install things, it just freezes up. And it won't go back over here. It won't come back to the main main window here. When that happens, you're going to go have have to uh, reboot the computer. Otherwise, it's going to be stuck there. So go ahead and reboot the computer if it gets stuck there. Okay. Now let's go ahead. In my situation, I had these already scraped. That's why you have stuff there. Otherwise, you wouldn't see nothing there. So I'll go ahead and click on that. All right, so it brought me over here. I brought it to the desktop. I can see there there's actual shortcut. If I click on that, it's going to load up the game. Okay. I'm going to get out of there. Okay. So I want it to launch automatically. So I go ahead and press Alt F4 if it brings you to the desktop. All right, let's get out of this. Go ahead and press F1. Let's go into ROMs. Let's go into the Windows folder. And there's a, there's the, there's the folder, okay? 
this file here let's go ahead and change the view of this this is the file that launches the game okay I double click on that uh, I can see that it didn't find it didn't find the game right so I have to manually put that in there myself so how do you know where it's at well go ahead and quit that go into drive C sometimes you see a folder here of the game but sometimes you don't I know in this case it's I know it's here program files okay go there and there's the there's the game okay I know the this is the run file okay so what I normally do because everything is case sensitive right so keep but keep that in mind what the name of the file is right to launch it but the folder is also important too so go here select all this because again there are these cases that you don't want to mess it up go ahead and copy let's go back up go back up go back up and go back here double click on that get rid of that pound sign okay let's go ahead and delete all that hit control V and there it goes get rid of that pound sign again and the game is called Kalatic all right now sometimes the game has two words and there's a space right let's say this let's say the run file was the runtime file was called galactic game right if you do it like that it's not going to work you're going to have to put it in quotes like this like that okay otherwise it won't work but since this is only a one word you don't need you don't need, don't need the quotes so let's go ahead and get rid of that all right make sure you save it okay and quit okay now go back here and close the window go back into the windows okay now the second thing you're going to need to do is press go ahead press the Y key and this is one great thing about Bata Seta is that you can configure the keyboards uh, the key commands of the game uh, to the gamepad so I go in there we're going to have to use these keys here to to map everything out accordingly so I know this from memory because I've played this game before so for start I'm gonna go ahead and select S and then you press A and that chooses that okay for select I'm gonna go ahead and pick up pick uh, the space bar all right for the X okay these are gonna be my main two buttons um, X I'm gonna put pick C that captures any weapon from the actual game and then the Y um, is one of the other buttons from the game itself which is the letter P okay then I'm gonna go into R2 uh, and once again I'm gonna make this the space bar okay again depending upon your game you can select it the way the game is configured again I happen to know this because I played this game before the hockey how to get out of this I'm gonna the way to exit the game is in galactic is alt X so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that I guess we'll set that by default select none right and go ahead and press it again and I'm gonna pick alt it says I have a combo key instead of pressing A which will only choose one key at a time I press Y on my gamepad now it lets me, lets me choose a combo key so alt and since this is my only other key then I go ahead and press the A button there it is alt X okay let's go ahead and pick the right analog stick yeah this way I can control it this way I can control it with my gamepad so I have to mess around with the mouse okay go ahead and save now we'll select the game again this time it should work and there it is
that's that. All right. Now let's get back out of there. Let's go ahead and press F1. And let's go back to ROMs folder and let's go back to the Windows installer. And let's go ahead and delete that installation. Set a file. Close Windows. And press Game Setting. Update Game List. Yep. See that? Now the installation folder is gone. So again, some games, no matter what you do, they're not going to work. It's a hit and miss. Um, so if it doesn't work, then simply it won't work. Uh, but these are some of the games that I've got working on my Batocera. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time at Batocera Nation. Happy gaming, and bye-bye.